minutes of the regular meeting of the Elmhurst City Council, February 2021. Governor of the state of Illinois, somebody's not muting and they're killing me. It looks like Levin. Levin's putting a spoke into my wheels, not a shock. Okay. Governor of the state of Illinois has declared a gubernatorial disaster proclamation in response to the COVID-19 outbreak, restricting individuals to gatherings of 25 persons or less and all the city of Elmhurst is covered by the disaster area. In light of the ongoing COVID-19 outbreak, the mayor of the city of Elmhurst has determined that an in-person meeting for February 1st, 2021 city council may not be practical or prudent in light of the disaster. All of the aldermen of the city council participating in the February 1st, 2021 city council meeting, wherever their location shall be verified and determined that they can hear one another and can just hear all discussion and testimony during the meeting. So I will now do that in the order they appear on my screen. Uh, who is that? Mike Cop and uh, Tom Trozine, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, and others. Uh, Don Storino, can you hear me? Yes, Mayor. Alderman Brennan. I can hear you, Mayor. Alderman Molliner. I can hear you. Alderman Dunn. Yes, I can hear. Alderman Park. Yes, I can hear you, Mayor. Jeez, I gotta turn this down. Uh, Alderman Cahill. Yes, I can hear you, Mayor. Alderman Deuter. Yes, I can hear you. Clerk Tamer. Yes, I can hear you, Mayor. Alderman Varemus. Yes, I can hear you. Alderman Plums. Okay, it finally unmuted. I can hear you. Thank you. Treasurer Leibovitz. Yes, I can hear you. Alderman Toledo. Yes, I can hear you. Alderman Kennedy. Yes, I can hear you. Alderman Hill. I can hear you, Mayor. Alderman Brain. Yes, I can hear you. City Manager. Yes, I can hear you. Alderman Levin. I can hear you. Okay, that's everyone who's on the call has been confirmed. <clears throat> uh, so I've called it to order and we I now ask you that you all rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Clerk Tamer, please call the roll. Bram. Here. Polumsky. Here. Cahill. Here. Toludo. Here. Brennan. Here. Levin. Here. Kennedy. Here. Honquest. Absent. Park. Here. Mulliner. Here. Deuter. Here. Varimus. Here. Hill. Here. Dunn. Here. 13 present, one absent. 13 present, one absent. We have a quorum. We are in session. On to agenda item two, 2.1 Metro Paramedic Services. So I'm going to ask uh, the folks from Metro to meet me up here. And um, Mike Stenson, do I need to bring my headset or, or should I? Okay, so then I, everyone should mute so that I can uh, talk when I'm down there. One second. Yeah. 
Oh no, it'll pick up. Yeah, we'll swap out. All right, give me some of the chat, and then we'll swap out. So, wow, look at this. Okay, this is not a flattering angle. Okay, well, um, I'd like to take this opportunity. We're here um, to meet with the folks from Superior. I'm going to go Superior Ambulance. Um, they're one of our best corporate partners that we have in Elmhurst. We're very fortunate uh, that they have chosen to make Elmhurst our home. Um, they're uh, incredible neighbors to have. And we have a very unique and very beneficial partnership uh, here in the city of Elmhurst with uh, folks from Superior Ambulance. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, we do kind of a split sharing as it relates to our fire services and our EMS services. So um, we actually have privatized uh, city council and uh, city staff in their infinite wisdom about 40 years ago, uh, made the decision to privatize how we deliver our uh, ALS or advanced life-saving services uh, to our residents of Elmhurst. And we do that in partnership with Superior Ambulance who has their headquarters up on Lake Street. Uh, and it works fantastic for us. It's very beneficial. We actually uh, have a contract with Superior where we have a revenue sharing program. So we commit to X amount of operating expenses with them. Uh, and then if all goes well in the world, um, we have a formula where we have revenue sharing. And it works so well in the city of Elmhurst that um, uh, not only were we able to add a rapid response vehicle uh, about three years ago, um, which has, uh, we've reaped incredible rewards in terms of um, time it takes to deliver ALS services to residents who call 911, but uh, our revenue share covers that. We actually, uh, we were able to add that service with no additional cost to our taxpayers. And it's really due to the unique relationship we have with Superior Ambulance. I can't say enough about them. Um, they're so generous, uh, and they do such a fantastic job. And, uh, I'm so glad that we have this partnership with them. And with us, we have, uh, Kim Godden and uh, Mike Tillman and, uh, the owner, David Hill here. And I want to give them an opportunity to, uh, say, uh, a few words. And, uh, I think they maybe have some good news for us. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Mike Tillman and I'm going to step up. Thank you, Mayor Morley. Uh, you did a great job explaining the uh, contractual arrangements. Uh, as the mayor indicated, the city pays roughly uh, a, a fee of about 20% of our total contract cost. It's uh, fixed payments that are made monthly, and um, we provide you with 15 paramedics, uh, two frontline advanced life support ambulances, one backup advanced life support ambulance, and one rescue one vehicle, also known as a rapid response vehicle. Um, the total value of that contract is, is about $1.4 million. And the city pays about $200,000 in fixed payments to us. Um, at the end of the term of the contract year, uh, we contract with an independent auditor to audit the amount of money that we have received uh, that we bill users of the ambulance service using the city's fees. So the city establishes the fees, not us. And we bill the uh, users of that service on behalf of the city. And we take at risk about $1.5 million, which means that, um, you know, if we don't collect that number, we take the loss, not the city. Um, so uh, year after year, we've collected more than what our at risk number is and the independent audit proves that out. And so uh, we reimburse the city the difference for its costs uh, to deliver EMS services, such as housing our ambulances, our paramedic personnel, uh, your dispatch costs. Uh, sometimes the fire department sends an engine with our ambulance. So those are the costs that the city incurs that are not uh, within our contract. So I'm happy to report that uh, this year we're reimbursing to the city $195,276.34, um, which basically comes at a cost of the city of just under $4,000. That's basically what the city paid in 2019 for ambulance services is just under $4,000. Um, as the mayor indicated, we are headquartered here in Elmhurst. Um, we have about 40 satellite stations throughout the metropolitan Chicagoland area, Elmhurst being the largest of it. Um, so 
We're happy to call Elmhurst our home. Uh, we have about 300 employees working in our corporate office on any given day. Um, and we also have about 45 people, uh, employees that live in the city of Elmhurst. So no, we're not only happy to call it our home, we're happy to provide the jobs and uh, happy to have the partnership and the support of the city of Elmhurst. Um, so with that, here's the check for $195,276.34. And uh, David, want to jump in there? Yep. Oh, I just want to, I'm, I'm David Hum, the president. Uh, my folks started it um, in Bellwood, and then we were fortunate enough to start getting calls from Elmhurst in 1960. And uh, once we got the business going a little bit, we moved here at 64. So we've been very proud to be based here and to grow here. And uh, I, th I think it's because of the opportunity that Elmer has given us a lot of other good things have come our way. And, and it's something that we're very grateful for every day. Um, we appreciate the privilege of being able to serve you. So every day we want to keep getting better. So uh, if you have ideas or other thoughts, please let us know. Um, this is our flagship. So thank you for allowing us to be here. Hey everybody, thanks so much. I'll reiterate what Mike and Dave said, and, and we're fortunate to be, um, you know, leaders in the uh, ambulance industry and various boards and uh, organizations we're a part of. This um, Elmhurst model, as we call it, has been replicated, you know, uh, across the state, but also across the country. So really kudos to the city of Elmhurst for um, putting this model together and, uh, and I doubt you're going to find another community to get EMS for $4,000. <laughs> <laughs> well Let's do a socially distanced picture. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Okay, especially with the last year we've had, it's good to have some good news every once in a while. Uh, with that, we'll go on to agenda item three, receipt of written communications from the public. I don't see anybody in here. Mr. Kopp or Mr. Trezine, anybody in there uh, with written communications? No, there is not. Okay, seeing uh, none in our annex over there or none here. That will uh, wrap up agenda item three, written communications on to public forum. This is an opportunity for anybody uh, in the audience or online in this case to uh, provide comment about any item they so choose. We ask that out of respect for work that we have to get done there this evening and respect for others who may wanna speak that you keep your comments to three minutes. Um, if you go over three minutes, I'll give you a gentle reminder and ask you to wrap up. Um, as we are recording, we ask that you identify yourself uh, by name at least, uh, address is optional. Clerk Tamer, do we have anybody signed up for um, public forum this evening? No, Mayor, there isn't. Mr. Kopp, anybody online there for public comment? Yes, we have two people on here for item 6.16 on the case of the agenda, and one would like to introduce himself. James, go ahead. 
Okay, so let's uh, have them go one at a time. Mr. Cop, um, I'll have you to control the logistics there and uh, just ask the folks to identify themselves and uh, they're good to go. James, go ahead. Uh, good evening, my name is James Bagliolich. I'm in Hasselhoff, Illinois. I'm the Delta Sonic, 570 Delaware Avenue, Buffalo, New York. I did speak two weeks ago. I'm just here to answer any questions. Please have some I had. And thank you for everything you've done throughout this process. It's been great to work with. Okay, sounds like that folks wrapped up. Mr. Cop, number two. Another person chose not to speak. Okay, uh, you want to do a roll call? Anyone else on the line there, Mr. Cop? Is there anybody else on the line for public comment? No, there's not. Mr. Grabowski, do you have anybody here? Okay. All right, that's going to do it for public uh Forum this evening on to announcements, agenda item five. Any announcements from the diet? I don't see anybody's hand raised, Mr. Cop, uh, Mr. Grabowski, anybody? Okay, uh, that's it for agenda item five, announcements on to consent agenda item number six. Uh, at this time, is there any items or any item any alderman wishes to pull? to uh, remove, to provide comment or uh, vote no. Mr. Bram. 6.17. 6.17, anyone else? Any other agenda item? Okay, uh, no one else raised their hand. I will now entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda Minus item 6.17. Motion by Alderman Polomsky. Second by Alderman Cahill. Clerk Bram. Aye. Polomsky. Aye. York. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we got an old one here in general. Give me a second. It's Groundhog Day tomorrow, Jackie. <laughs> it sure That's is. That's what you're thinking. <laughs> Let's start all over. Bram. Aye. Polumsky. Aye. Cahill. Aye. Toledo. Aye. Park. Aye. Levin. Aye. Kennedy. Aye. Conquest. Absent. Brennan. Aye. Mulliner. Aye. Deuter. Aye. Verimus. Aye. Hill. Aye. Dunn. Aye. 13 ayes, zero nays, one absent. Sorry about that before. Thirteen ayes, zero nays, motion carries, consent agenda minus item 6.17 is approved. On to agenda item 6.17, this is an ordinance. I'll ask Clerk Tamer to read the ordinance. An ordinance extending temporary executive powers pursuant to section 3.16 of Elmhurst Municipal Code and pursuant to 65 ILCS 5 forward slash 11 dash 1 dash 6. This poor council asks for a motion to approve the ordinance as read. Motion by Alderman Levin, second by Alderman Toledo. Alderman Levin. No comment on this. Alderman Bram, you pulled this, the floor is yours. Thank you. Um, nothing different than what I've said before. This hasn't been utilized in uh, weeks, if not months. We have processes in place to uh, expedite any issues that we do need to have passed via city council. I don't see a reason to continue extending executive powers at this point. Okay, any other comments? Clerk Tamer, please call the vote. Bram? No. Polumsky? Aye. Cahill? Aye. Toledo? Aye. Park? Aye. Levin? Aye. Kennedy? Aye. On quest absent. Brennan? Aye. Mulliner? Aye. Deuter? Aye. Verimus? Aye. 
Hill. Aye. Dunn. Aye. 12 ayes, one nay, one absent. 12 ayes, one nay motion carries. Agenda item 6.17 is approved. On to uh, agenda item 7, reports and recommendations of appointed and elected officials. 7.1, Mayor Morley, that's me. A couple of quick things. First and foremost, I want to thank uh, staff, all involved, um, public works, police, fire, everybody um, involved in uh, snow removal over the weekend. Um, if you believe what you read, we've had the largest uh, dump of snow in the last five years. Um, I appreciate the patience that the residents of Elmhurst have, but I think our staff have done a fantastic job. Um, I know that uh, we anticipated it. We watched the weather like everyone else is and uh, made sure that uh, all available crews were on there. So I want to say thank you to everybody for that. Um, we do have uh, snow updates on our city website. As always, if there is ever an issue and you are in question, please call 911 if you're having a serious issue. Uh, and then finally, we do have, uh, if you look at our city website across the top, we have a uh, COVID banner and COVID updates. Uh, as we continue to progress uh, through the pandemic and um, vaccines become available, um, there are links on our website that uh, tells you how that's going to roll out. I continue to say that uh, the best source that we have for that for now is uh, DuPage County um, and DuPage County Health, which is really handling the rollout and what tier you are in uh, and what tier you qualify for to get in line for the vaccine. So I encourage everyone to do their best to be educated on that. And that's it for me, city manager. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, likewise, I'd like to thank uh, the Public Works crews, especially for their work in clearing the streets. Uh, it's not quite over yet. We still have to clean the downtown area and some of the other business districts. Uh, so we appreciate your patience. We do that overnight uh, when traffic is very low. So they'll be working on that tonight. And I expect to drive through tomorrow and have it look like it didn't even snow in Elmhurst. So thanks to them. That's all I have. Thank you. Any other reports? You see anybody, city manager? Seeing none, we'll uh, move on to agenda item eight. Is it, uh, Alderman Dunn, quick uh, comment. Oh, oh, okay, Alderman Dunn. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Floor is yours. Uh, yeah, just a uh, an update uh, on the uh, Fly Quiet Committee of the ONCC. We had another meeting last week and uh, move forward. Uh, we reviewed two rotation plans uh, and uh, one of those uh, did move forward. Uh, so we're left with uh, two rotation plans uh, that we're examining. Um, the one is a, uh, uh, the one that was just passed is uh, utilizing um, the diagonals half the time. So that's one we're uh, concerned about. And, um, uh, but we, there is another one that has moved forward uh, which has a fair uh, distribution and noise. Um, so I uh, just wanted to give that quick update. Thank you, Alderman Dunn. Anyone else? Seeing none, we'll go on to agenda item eight. It's an ordinance. I ask uh, Clerk Tamer to read the ordinance. An ordinance authorizing the execution of a master power supply agreement by and between Alego Energy IL LLC and the City of Elmhurst, DuPage and Cook Counties, Illinois. See item 7 6.14. This before council asks for a motion to approve the ordinance as read. Motion by Alderman Toledo, second by Alderman Levin. Alderman Toledo, your motion. Thank you. Uh, this report or this ordinance. Um, is a continuance of item 6.14 that we approved on the consent agenda regarding the municipal electric aggregation program. Uh, we are recommending and approved to suspend the rules tonight because the pricing is held only for a short amount of time from the suppliers. So um, we needed to approve that tonight to keep the pricing that was presented to the council. Um, and I'll just give a little overview. I think this is really a great win-win project for the residents of Elmhurst. Um, the committee recommended and the council approved in the report a ComEd price matching program. So if uh, anyone who is on the ComEd program or our electrical aggregation program will be paying the same exact amount of money per kilowatt hour. 
Um, but in addition to that, through the electric aggregation program, we as a city are getting uh, renewable energy credits as well as a civic contribution um, on an annual basis, it'll be about $167,000 that we'll be receiving from the electricity supplier. And uh, we've um, recommended that those funds be um, put together and uh, used for a local sustainability project um, from possibly from our sustainability plan. Um, so the committee felt like this was a good idea um, to promote uh, sustainability projects in Elmhurst that our residents can see um, and feel and feel a direct result within our own community. And that's why we made the recommendation that we did. Um, so I ask for everyone's support again on this ordinance. Thank you. Well, I mean, Don, you have your electronic hand raised. Is that uh, a leftover? Yes, it is. Sorry about that. I withdrew my hand. Okay, uh, anyone else, uh, any other comments as it relates to the motion before us? Seeing none, I'll ask for uh, Clerk Tamer to call the vote. Graham? Aye. Palumski? Aye. Cahill? Aye. Toledo? Aye. Park? Aye. Levin? Aye. Kennedy? Aye. On quest absent, Brennan? Aye. Mulliner? Aye. Deuter? Aye. Vremus? Aye. Hill? Alderman Hill? Did we lose him? He might be frozen. Lower. He's not he's not on my uh, screen. I see him. On the screen. Alderman Hill. Alderman Hill, can you hear us? No, I can't. Sorry. Aye. <laughs> Done? Aye. 13 ayes, zero nays, one absent. 13 ayes, zero nays, motion carries. Agenda item 8.1 is approved. On to agenda item 9, other business. Any other business from the council? Seeing none, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion by Alderman Deuter, second by Alderman Kennedy. Voice, uh, I'm sorry, roll call vote, uh, Clerk Tamer, please. Graham? Aye. Palumski? Aye. Cahill? Aye. Toledo? Aye. Brennan? Aye. Levin? Aye. Kennedy? Aye. On quest absent. Uh, Park? Aye. Mulliner? Aye. Deuter? Aye. Baremus? Aye. Hill? Aye. Dunn? Aye. 13 ayes, 0 nays. 13 ayes, 0 nays. Motion to adjourn is approved. Thank you, everybody, and have a great evening. Aye.